can. I have to do some of these additional things first. I'm gonna go talk to Eldritch Diggory. Sunset vibes. Wait, I can do I can do I can do this thing now. Incendio. That one needs to be three. One, two, three. That one needs to be two. One of those needs to be one, one of those needs to be four. I adore the hammers near the coast. Wait, shit, that one needs to be four. Okay, triangle with the target is three. hole opens up in the middle of the fucking bridge and no one questions it. Do we get a scarf, though? Rebellion. I did miss this chest. Okay, let's move on. I, I, I caught that earlier in my first go across the bridge. way. Handy resource indeed. Your field Where does the portrait want to talk to me? You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. 
Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Um... How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? Her boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. Her girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Mm. Can you Let's learn more some more. Your great niece. Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but. It's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. Interesting. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. The common room is nice. Okay, probably can now go up the stairs. Can I go up these stairs? I go up the stairs. It's very cozy. I like I just happened to go into the right room as well. Okay, time to go talk to the new person. Even though it's Nighttime, we're not really supposed to be leaving the castle. We're gonna be doing it anyway. Are you all right? Look like you're feeling done. If only. 
Reading can Get be away. as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? Section. No, and none of your business. There you are, sneaking past me. I know. And taking dangerous books. Okay, let's carry on. So we're not the only ones sneaking into the restrictions se restricted section. Where do I have to go? Uh, thanks, game map. Are we going to Hogsmeade? Where are those people running away? I will say the the glowing light trail is it looks really cool. Forbidden forest. Okay, well, we've technically. Ooh, there's a. It's over there. Probably shouldn't have fought this thing. That was not smart to fight this thing. Nailed it. Okay, why I just did that? No idea.
We're gonna we're gonna continue on with our main quest. Oh, definitely going to August Mead. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Accio. Accio. Okay, can't go that way. Game a little buggy. Oh, I see a thing, I see a thing. Rebellion. We got more HP. Rebellion. Finding all the books now. Okay, we're going this way. Hogsmeade, here I come. A little bit of ominous fog. this way. One of the best meals I've ever eaten. Oh, 
follow a rad rock. Revelio. There's more followers. Rebellion. <sighs> Feels like I've been at this for hours. Like, I was just standing in the fire and just lit it. Yeah, there's been there's been a tiny bit of lag here and there. So hi Tina, how you doing? I think I think I might have to drop some of the graphics things a tiny tiny bit. But I'm noticing it more with like quick movements and as things load up. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Doing all right. A little, Uncle little sleepy. Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, and was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in yeah, OBS looks like it's struggling right now. I don't know why. Of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible. But I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. 
At least, that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonius. Call it a step back to two thirty. What can I do to help? I believe I was starting to feel it, so then I died. By now, hit the head. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's been three. a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you. A student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne. She might reveal new information. Um. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Go on, I am too. For a while, I'll be liking you so much. I'm gonna turn off that, see if that helps a bit. Um Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. I think there's just too much going on on the screen for OBS Anne to handle. With certain people in the ministry, along with the fact that Anne is Muggleborn, sealed her feet. I'd like you to put it alone and it fell late. Of course, so. Never was the brightest. I can never. And that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dorn and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now. And tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Yeah, the Death Eater is kind of like a little sad. <laughs> what are you saying? What to? That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may yeah. feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now, follow me. Mind your step? Hi, Eskela. How you doing? I thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Careful around, Anne. He's been here a lot longer than the rest. Well, this is a joyous place to be in. If I had my wand, I'd cast through I'm, the I'm doing all right. A little sleepy, but I'm doing all right. She's reaching through the fence. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. 
Who's there? Why torment me further? No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. What are you trying to say? That the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins. Near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it gone out. Unfortunately, I don't have to remember this because we will have the quest thing. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, now you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? I feel like something bad was gonna happen. <laughs>